Hi, welcome back. This is Sri Devi from Vibrant Living Kitchen. Um, here I show a lot of uh, plant-based, all plant-based dishes that are healthy and delicious. Usually I make up my own recipes and I share them with you. But today I am going to show you something really, really special in my family and I have been eating this pretty much all my, uh, starting from my teenage life. This is my mom's recipe. Actually, she learned it from her neighbors, Tamilian neighbors, uh, while we were living in Tirupati. And all our family and relatives, they love this recipe and they keep asking her to make it. I only made a small change uh, from what she makes. That is to use millets in place of white rice. And you could make it with brown rice, you can make it with black rice, you can make it with all kinds of rices. It is called pongal. Yes, upongali. So happy to be sharing that with you today. Let's get started. I am roasting cashews, dry roasting cashews for our recipe of the day today, Uppongali. So roast them and keep them aside. We're going to use uh, millets. I'm using uh, foxtail millets, uh, three quarters of foxtail millets, three quarter cup of foxtail millets, one cup of uh, mung beans. Okay, foxtail millets should be soaked for at least six hours and use that water that you've soaked in, okay? So uh, that is for uh, foxtail millets. You can also use udalu, varigalu, uh, all kinds of little millets for this. Um, or you can even use jowar rava. And mung beans, um, like this, split ones, and um, you don't need to soak them. You want to lightly toast them before using. Okay. One cup of mung beans, Okay, one cup to three quarters cup of uh, millets. And this can be, uh, well, it's always been a, a breakfast dish in our family growing up, but nowadays we eat it as a main course and I always pair it up with a, a salad. It just, it just feels just right to have salad with this gooey, uh, smushy, yummy, flavorful, uh, kitchdi like pongo. To have it with a nice crispy juicy salad I think is just the right match and it is always served with some kind of a chutney that it could be coconut almond chutney it could be ginger and some people I think in Maharashtra make make something called mango goju um, that I'm not um, I have never made but I've eaten it um, so you can do any of that today I'm gonna show you how to make this um, pongal Okay, just toast it until you smell, smell nice, nice smell. And you want to use six times the water of lentils and millets together. So six times one and three quarters. So that's like uh, 10 cups, okay, close to 10 cups. So then it becomes nice and gooey, okay. And then I'm adding millets with the water in it. And we need, how many did we say? 10 cups. Okay, so one liter is about eight cups. I'm gonna add two more. While it's cooking, we'll make the popu seasoning for it. Very simple yet flavorful. Okay, I'm gonna use coconut oil because uh, it's a plant-based kitchen and I don't use ghee, but traditionally it's made with ghee. And a whole lot of it. And um, if you are still using um, dairy products, you're most welcome to use ghee in your pongo as it is done traditionally but um, it, with coconut oil, it's just as fabulous. 
any lentil uh, preparation with lentils, you want to take away the froth. This has anti-nutrition. It has something called phytic acid. It is very hard for our body to digest. So get that out and then you'll be fine and you can enjoy your pongal. This helps in not getting gassy and bloated with your pongal. All right, so the lentil and uh, millet mix is getting cooked. It's almost done. So I fired up this other pan to make the seasoning, popu. So, and, okay. So we're gonna use coconut oil, kind of generously. <laughs> I put like three spoons. And in that, gonna use uh, cumin, okay. Like a half a teaspoon of cumin. And I'm gonna use, okay, you can just use black pepper and not use chilies at all and coconut but I'm gonna use both chilies and black pepper, so I'm gonna use less black pepper. Otherwise, you're gonna need about one tablespoon. Now that I'm using uh, green chilies, I'm gonna use um, half a teaspoon of black pepper, so not to make the dish too hot. So crush it a little. Okay. And curry leaves lots you can see that I'm not very used to making taka in lots of oil but this is a special dish that calls for you know a little bit of oil and green chili hing asaptida ingua and kobari grated coconut and a little bit more coconut oh it smells awesome you can skip the coconut and green chili part and just add um, only black pepper. That's one version. This is another version. So it's getting toasted nicely in coconut oil. It smells great. So you don't have to add green chilies. You can just do only, only black pepper which is what my mom does most of the time. But she gave me this variation to tell you guys because she also liked this. And I think she may have, um, you know, said that also because, you know, I use a lot of coconut in our dishes and also that we are using coconut oil and not ghee. So it goes well, very sensible mom. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's cooked. And you don't want it to cook too, too dry because um, it's because of lentils and millets it's going to get uh, kind of hard later so it smells awesome here this is cooked you don't want to cook it too thick this mixture because as it gets cooled down it gets harder so I fried up roasted toasted and fried stuff and now I'm gonna mix it all together into the cooked lentil and uh, millet mix and our pongal is ready oh so hungry ooh, ooh. Mm. can you see this thank you amma for always teaching i mean for always being so sensible and teaching me such wonderful things all my life, such wonderful dishes. Oh, sounds great. So our upongo is ready. My mom's upongo with a little variation. We made it with foxtail millets today. Let me serve this up. My mom would be putting like another few spoons of ghee at this point. <laughs> It's very heavy, nourishing, 
and satiating so watch for the portions and I would definitely serve it with a nice crispy salad I know it's like what salad and pongo but trust me you're gonna love it ready isn't it easy healthy food is not that difficult food is not rocket science at all don't be getting into all kinds of fat diets eat good wholesome food whole meals with um, this natural and uh, healthy natural and naturally grown ingredients and um, you know make sensible food choices and don't ever have to diet you have to eat healthy every day and enjoy what you're eating also your food always has to be tasty tasty and healthy always and that's what is our motto here i been like this always because i'm a big foodie and the stomach space is really important it is very valuable real estate and don't waste it with food that doesn't serve you right i hope you enjoy this video enjoy this recipe and make it for yourself and your family if you like this recipe share and if you haven't subscribed to this channel subscribe thank you very much for your time see you next time